Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to talk again about installing the Zoops content management system, uh, probably in a little bit more detail, and also because the uh, previous video had a few problems with the sound. So what you can do is you can first log into your cPanel from your host, and near the bottom, somewhere near the bottom, you should see a Fantastico icon. And it also says Fantastico. And then you can click on it, and you'll land on the uh, Fantastico homepage. After that, we click on this uh, link down here where it says uh, Zoops, X-O-O-P-S. So that's under the uh, content management section of Fantastico. So you click on here, and then you land on this uh, installation page for Zoops. So you choose the domain first that you would like to install it on, and you choose which directory you would like to install it on. We've put in test here to, call it, to put it into the test directory. Uh, the other option is just to leave it blank, and then it will install into the root directory of our site. Here you'll need to enter the administrator username that you want to use for the administrator, and also the password that you'll want to use for the administrator. So those are two very important steps. Um, and here we have the uh, site name that you want to use for your site, as well as the administrator email address. I've actually already set up the website, um, but if you haven't, so this, is, this would have been uh, step one of three, and you go to install Zoops, it'll give you step two of three, and then you finish it off, and then it'll become step three of three. So uh, that's why uh, right now we're not going to bother with the administration access detail or installing Zoops part. So once we've installed Zoops, we can then um, <coughs> go to our page, so right now we've set it to webandsoftwarelearn.com slash test. And, we, uh, in, include, and then what we do is we log in uh, to set up our uh, administration panel. So right now it's in. So what we then click here is we click on the administration menu. We have this menu possible because we set ourselves as the administrator. We click that. And it says that this is the first time we're entering the administration section. Please press the uh, button below to proceed. And we have. And then we, we now have our administration panel, which is great because we can uh, set all sorts of useful things in the administration panel. Let's just click. So you can either click the administration panel itself, and then it'll give you these various links that we can modify. Or if you just mouse over the icon, you can even click each section itself. The preferences section has many useful settings for the general site, including general settings, meta tags, um, um, user info settings, etc. So the general settings, for example, has a lot of useful information in general about your website. You can set the theme, for example. Um, so there's generally a lot of very useful information uh, about the uh, site in general that you can set there. So that's the preferences. We um, can set the meta tags on Twitter or user info settings. 